Hi, I'm Sandra with Make. If you've ever wanted to build a fun, simple synthesizer, then we've got a great project for you to begin with. Our latest weekend project uses a handful of electronic components to turn light into sound. Inspired by the 555 slider synth by Dean Segovis, you'll be rocking your favorite geeky tune or creating your own with just a few hours of basic soldering. The Light to Sound LDR synth is built around the venerable 555 timer, the brains of other classic weekend projects, such as the Light Theremin and the Dradio Music Pencil. An LED shines light while a light-dependent resistor, or LDR, otherwise known as a photoresistor, varies the resistance to that light, altering the pitch of sound output through the speaker. All the parts needed for this project can be found at your local Radio Shack. You'll also require the following tools. The 555 timer is an ubiquitous component found in everything from modern toys to the driver for windshield wipers in older vehicles. It can operate in several configurations. And today we'll be using it in the monostable mode. That just means the chip emits one pulse at a time. So pulse, pause, pulse, pause. The length of time between pulses is determined by the other components in the circuit. Because different components will change the character of this build, it's highly recommended you breadboard the circuit first to find the exact configuration that you wish to assemble. Follow the schematic and populate a breadboard with your components to create a working test circuit before you start soldering. The components that you can adjust slightly include the LDR and the value of the capacitor C1, which here is rated at 2.2 microfarads. Check out the project instructions for more details on how these two components affect the output of the synth. Once you've picked your LDR, C1 capacitor, and LED for this project, you'll need to get a little creative. You need a tube that the LDR can be mounted into and that the LED can slide in and out of so that the LDR sees more or less light as the LED moves. Ultimately, you want something that is mostly opaque to block exterior light, and that allows the LED to easily traverse the tube. Okay, let's build the LDR synth. Grab the largest board from the pack, then mark and drill a hole that will fit the momentary switch. Populate the top area of the board with all the necessary components including the IC socket, capacitors, resistors, and wires. Note, the IC socket is installed upside down with the notch facing down. Mount the 8 ohm mini speaker in the bottom area, ensuring there's enough room for the light tube to be mounted later between the speaker and the components up top. Prepare the LDR by trimming the leads and soldering two lengths of wire to the leads. Apply heat shrink tubing to the connections. LDRs are resistors that vary their resistance according to the amount of light shining upon them. Because they are resistors, their leads are not polarized. Hot glue the LDR into the light tube and connect the wires to the breadboard. Use hot glue to attach the light tube and then secure the 9 volt battery holder to the underside of the board with a piece of double sided foam tape. Install the switch and solder one of the pins to the battery terminal's positive lead. Solder the other lead of the switch to the PCB on the opposite side of the light tube. Solder the battery's negative lead to ground. Now to prepare the LED, cut lengths of wire approximately four times the length of your light tube. Strip and solder the wire to the LED leads, and wrap the wire around a length of rod used to slide the LED in and out of the tube. Connect the other ends of wire to the PCB. Insert the 555 timer in the IC socket and get ready to rock. Try playing your favorite NES tune or a recent pop hit with your newly made LDR synth. 